so it's so small but it's like so cute anyways like look at how cute it is it's like tiny but i i really really like it i love the color because like the color online looked like a lot darker and that's another thing like i was a little bit concerned with that because i was i wanted a um the rose jade color i think that is and i wasn't sure because it looked really dark on the on the website and i'm like i don't want like a dark pink i just think that that looks kind of tacky when you're i don't know that's just my opinion but like a blush color i think that's beautiful um but i wasn't sure if i was going to get that so i ended up getting the nude because you can't go wrong with nude um and I think that's pretty much all I can do. And then let me just take it off for you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited to use it. And also because I'm going to take a cruise like in two two weeks, I think. And this is going to be super awesome to take with me because that's all I'm going to take. I'm not going to take a bigger bag. And I mean, come on. Like you, I just need my phone with me and my ID and my credit cards and stuff. Or my credit card, I mean. And it, I'm good to go. And it's just so convenient, you know. Put it over your shoulder and you're good to go. So, oh gosh, I'm just so struggling with this. Okay, so it has like, it's obviously like the crossbody style, and then it has like the chain thingy. It's so cute. Um, and so let's open it up. So, when you open it up, it comes with like this little protective, I don't know, white thing. And then, I swear I'm horrible at unboxing shit. And then, well, it also has like this stuff inside. Um, and then the inside is really cute too. It has like little polka dots in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then it just says Kate Spade in the inside. And then inside, it just has a little care card, kind of like the Michael Kors bags. Um, and yeah, I'm probably just going to leave that inside because that pocket is tiny. Like I'm trying to put nothing in there. So yeah, so once again, that's the inside. And see, I have a hard, I'm having a hard time like even going like this to it because it's like super. Let's just do like a little test. I'm gonna put my phone in there and see if anything else fits because I did see the reviews and a lot of people were a little bit upset because they said that all that fit was their phone in there. But so that's how the phone looks in there. And you could fit like your credit cards in here and like a lip gloss. I mean, obviously this isn't a bag for you to take. If you put like a lot of crap inside your bag, then it's obvious that this isn't gonna be for you. But I just need my phone in there. And maybe like I said, again, my IDs and you can even buy like those little wallet holders, um, card holders, I'm sorry, um, as like a wallet and stuff, just whenever you're going on a night out or even like an amusement park and things like that. I think that that would be good. So yeah, it's cute. And oh yeah, by the way, this color is the clock tower color because it's not it doesn't say nude on the website it's clock tower and I also forgot to show you guys I know it said that it came with like a dust bag but I don't see anything like seriously where the heck is it I don't think I missed anything unless I did but So on the freaking website it says that it comes with a dust bag but I yeah like what is this you know like it said it came with one and it doesn't come with one like see what I mean like when, when they tell you something and then sometimes like it doesn't even that is not what it comes with like that's annoying but yeah there is no dust bag like really That's like really upsetting. So I'm about to go like on the website probably and just check to make sure that I was wrong about the whole um, dust bag thing. I know I'm probably making a big deal about it, but I, I like having dust bags because like I said again, you know, you like to, um, if you go traveling and things like that, you just put it inside in your suitcase and it just, it doesn't come in contact with anything in there. So... <sighs> So yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.
Así se ve la cartera. Está muy, muy bonita. Y esto es a uh, silver, no es dorado. Y creo que aquí puedes ajustarlo. Lo puedes sacar. Se puede sacar. Y adentro dice Kerspeed y tiene unas bolitas ahí. Y tiene un bolsillo. Oh, y aquí dice como cuidar la cartera. ¿Y cuánto costó? Esto me costó. Esto me costó. El precio original era 148, pero ese día lo tenían a uh, creo que a 20 o 25% de descuento. O 15. No sé, pero yo lo conseguí por 111. Y lo compré de Nordstrom. Oh, y por cierto, estos um, anillos son de Pandora. Y quiero hacer un video pronto de Pandora porque he comprado más charms y cosas así. Aretes como el que tengo ahorita puesto. Y quiero hacer un video sobre eso también. Esta cartera la compré por mi cumpleaños y la elegí porque estaba buscando una cartera pequeña. Pero donde yo pudiera meter mis cosas necesarias. Como un teléfono, un lipstick y mis llaves, ¿no? Y luego de eso voy a hacerlo ahora mismo para ver si, si cabe o no cabe. Tengo mi teléfono aquí que es el iPhone 6. Um, lo voy a meter. Luego siempre ando un lipstick. Ese es el que estoy usando ahorita. Y luego también necesito esos uh, papeles que absorben la grasa de tu cara. Se ve así. Luego las llaves. Y eso es todo. Todavía queda un poquito más de espacio, pero creo que eso es suficiente. Y se cierra bien. Entonces sí caben las cosas necesarias solamente. Bueno, eso es todo. Um, espero que les haya gustado el video y me encantó esta cartera. Adiós. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another purse review for you because you know those are basically my favorite and I have a master collection and what good are they if I can't share that with you. So today I wanted to talk about the Kate Spade Cedar Street Cami. This is a super small crossbody bag that is advertised to fit like a cell phone, some keys, some cash, and some cards, and that's about it. The bag itself is four and a half inches tall by 6.2 inches wide by one inch deep, and the strap that goes across the body is 23 and a half inches. They come in loads of different colors and they cost $148. I completely forget what color I have here, but I think it is cyan blue, which was in a collection a year or two ago. I originally purchased this bag to wear to like sporting events because its small size means you can't overload it and it's just really easy to kind of throw on with any outfit and it looks super neat. Like all of the Cedar Street bags, this one does have the crotch touch leather with the 14 karat gold blading by Kate Spade. It has these cute little chains before you hit the leather strap which I think kind of adds a higher end finish and definitely makes the bag kind of fit your body and move a little better with your body than if the whole strap is just leather. One thing I do have to say about the strap though is since a large portion of it is leather is it does kink fairly easily because it is thin so you really want to like keep it weighted down and make sure when you're storing it not to really have it kind of bunched up because that can be kind of hard to get out of the leather. Inside the bag it's pretty nice. The strap is removable so you can pull off the strap right here so it kind of turns into a clutch. You have the Papillon, I think, um, black and white polka dots in here. And then you have a single card slot in the back. Since the wallet is pretty structured and only one inch deep, there's not much you can fit in here. You can fit stuff like sunglasses, but not much else. I find that it's much easier to simply attach sunglasses to this outer ring and just kind of let them hang there when you're not wearing them. It really doesn't look bad and it's convenient to be honest. 
but this bag is very small, so I'm taking just an iPhone. You can see it compared to the bag. Um, if I pop it in, I have room for maybe some keys and cash and probably a tube of chapstick. Let me grab one. So this would fit in on the other side of the iPhone, assuming you don't have a plus. It, just, it could fit in on the side, it's a little bit of a squeeze, and then you still have room for your cars and cards and maybe a key or two, but really not much else. So this is definitely like a bare necessities bag, but the nice thing is it's impossible to overload, so it really forces you to cut down on what you're bringing. If y'all have any questions about this bag, feel free to leave them below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, which is rosemary underscore christine, as well as my blog, which is rosemary christine. Dot com, and I'll also link my Pinterest down below if you want to check that out because I do pin tons of hands, bags, shoes, makeup, home decor, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up because that helps me a lot and it kind of motivates me to make more review videos about bags like this. So that's all guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!